Okay, put our first ring in, just measuring the ring gap here. Got it about two centimeters down inside the bore, set with the Wassner piston. Brand new piston, forged, very excited. Um, arrow goes toward the exhaust. Um, ring gap for the gas gas, um, EC300 2007 model. 300 cc, the standard is 0.5 millimeter ring gap. And the limit is 0.8 millimeter. The rings that I took out of this last fall were terrible. Um, one was four millimeters, dude. It was bad. So anyway, um, let's see. I've actually made this a little shorter just because I've heard so many people say that this uh, gap is a little excessive for gas gas. This gas gas recommended gap is a little excessive. So um, if you use the formula that seems to be on the um, piston websites, 0 0.004 inches per one inch of bore, uh, that should be your ring gap. Our bore on this 300 is 72 millimeters, so I want to convert that to inches. Um, there's a lot of different ways you could do this to arrive at the same answer. So 72 millimeters, um, and then for every one inch, there's 25.4 millimeters, and we cross cancel the millimeters. 72 divided by 25.4 equals 2.83 inches of bore. So a 72 millimeter bore is the same as 2.83 inches. So our bore right here is 2.83 inches, um, 0 0.004 inches per one inch of bore. So 2.83 times 0 0.004 is 0 0.01132, which is about, we can't quite round it up to 0 0.012, so we're going to just say it's 0 0.011. So, and that's the ring gap in inches. Now if we're going to convert that back to millimeters, just because I think in metric that's what I did, so we convert it back to millimeters, 0 0.01132 inches, that's the ring gap, based on this formula. And uh, there's one inch for every 25.4 millimeters, so the inches cancel leaving millimeters. So 0 0.01132 times 25.4 is 0 0.29 millimeters, or if you round it, it comes up to 0 0.3 millimeters. And that's about right on the feeler gauge here. I don't know if this will show up, the numbers are kind of bad to read. 0.3 millimeters is 0 0.012 inch. I don't know if that will show up or not. And so we're saying 0 0.0113, which is really, really close to 0 0.012, which is what that is. So that's what this formula recommends, 0.3 millimeters. The gas gas manual, 0.5 millimeters. So I went with about 0.4 is what it comes out to. Let's make sure the 0.4 goes still. It's a lot warmer today when I filed these initially. It was like 30 below, 30 below zero. Okay, so the 0.4 goes. I can feel it. It's kind of snug. I'll try the 0.45 real quick. Point 0.45 doesn't go. I don't have anything in between. So it's somewhere above 0.4 millimeters, but less than 0.45. Okay, I'm happy with that. So that's one ring. We'll flip it out for this other ring. Um, this Wassner kit, the letter goes up, and there's the letter. Okay. Just keep all these out here real quick. Not a very bright light, is it? So this is 0 0.33. 0 0.35 goes. Point three eight goes. That's a little tight. Point four might not go. Well, it goes. That's snug, I can feel that. So I don't think the 0.45 is gonna go. Nope. So this bottom ring's about the same too, so cool. I love the way this piston fits. There's like no, just put it in through the bottom here. Very 
tiny, tiny bit of side to side play. The other piston was a lot worse. Okay, so that's ring gap. I'm happy with that.